Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, Flesh is Willing. Today we're diving into the fascinating new perspective on proteins and vitamins. This is based on a groundbreaking article that proposes a new classification for proteins and vitamins based on their roles in uh, longevity and healthy aging. But first, kindly uh, show you your support for this channel by liking and subscribing and share your thoughts uh, on the content of this video in the comment section below. Also, you can find us on the usual social media, so follow us there. If you'd like to register for our free newsletter that has everything about longevity and healthy living, then please do so. Also, there's a copy of a spreadsheet that I put together uh, where you can follow and keep a register of all your supplements and tests and all that type of stuff. It's a really helpful thing to have and it's totally free. So grab that. So let's start with the basics. Okay, so uh, proteins and vitamins are the building blocks of our bodies. They are essential for our survival and our reproduction. But did you know that not all proteins and vitamins serve the same function and purpose within our bodies? Some are critical for our immediate survival and reproduction, while others play a more subtle role, by, uh, but equally important by preventing long-term damage and long-term disease. That can be uh, the cause of aging and looking old, which is what we don't want to do. <laughs> um, these are what are called longevity proteins and longevity vitamins. But what does this actually mean? Well, longevity proteins are those that help extend our lifespan by protecting our bodies from damage by repairing our DNA, neutralizing harmful free radicals, and maintaining the health of our mitochondria, which are ultimately the powerhouses of our cells. On the other hand, longevity vitamins are dietary components that are needed for the function of these longevity proteins. They ensure that these proteins can do their job effectively. Without these vitamins, the function of longevity proteins would be compromised, leading to accelerated aging and increased risk of age-related diseases. So in essence, while all proteins and vitamins are important for our health, longevity proteins and vitamins are especially important for promoting a long and healthy life. They are the unsung heroes of our bodies, quietly working to keep us healthy, and youthful. Now let's talk about our daily intake of vitamins and minerals. You might think that if you're eating a balanced diet, you're getting all the nutrients you need, but the reality is quite different. The article that we're talking about here reviews evidence that most of the world's population, especially in the third world, and developing countries consume many of the vitamins and minerals at levels below the recommended intake. But why is this a problem? Well, vitamins and minerals are essential for our bodies to function properly. They play a critical role in various bodily functions such as um, metabolism, immunity and cell cellular function. When they don't when your body doesn't get enough of these nutrients, our bodies can't function at their fullest capacity. This can lead to a variety of health problems ranging from fatigue, weakness of the immunity and or serious chronic diseases. Moreover, deficiencies in vimeral, uh, vitamins and minerals can lead to premature aging. This is because many vitamins and minerals are involved in the processes of repairing damage to our cells and our DNA. When we don't get enough of these nutrients, our bodies can't repair this damage as effectively as it could. Over time, this can lead to the accumulation of damage in our cells and tissues, which is a key factor in aging. In addition, deficiencies in vitamins and minerals can impair our mitochondria function Mitochondria is the powerhouse of our cells, providing the energy that our cells need to function. 
when this function is impaired, our cells can't produce as much energy, which can lead to fatigue and other health problems. So as you can see, getting enough vitamins and minerals is crucial for our health and longevity. This is not just about preventing deficiency diseases, it's about optimizing our health and ensuring that our bodies can function at their absolute best. Okay, next we're going to look at this really fascinating concept known as the triage theory. This theory provides a unique perspective on how our bodies manage to manage the distribution of vitamins and minerals, especially when they are in short supply. Now, the triage theory suggests that when a vitamin or mineral is deficient, the body prioritizes its use for survival proteins over our longevity proteins. This means that our bodies will first ensure that all the immediate survival needs are met before uh, allocating resources to the proteins that contribute to long-term health and uh, longevity. So what does this mean in practical terms? Well, let's consider, for example, suppose your body is uh, running low on vitamin K. According to the triage theory, your body will first allocate vitamin K to the proteins that are essential for your immediate such as those that involve uh, blood clotting, for example. Only after these needs are met will vitamin K be allocated to the proteins that help prevent long-term damage and disease of aging, such as those involved in bone health, for example. Also similarly is uh, selenium, is another nutrient that is subject to the triage uh, rationing when selenium is in short supply, it will first be used for essential survival functions. Only after these needs are met will selenium be used for longevity functions, such as protecting against uh, disease and aging. So the triage theory highlights a critical trade-off between short-term survival and long-term health. It suggests that even moderate deficiencies in vitamins and minerals can have long-term effects on our health and longevity, as these deficiencies can impair the function of our longevity protein. This underscores the importance of ensuring adequate intake of all vitamins and minerals, not just those that are traditionally considered essential. So, as we've discussed, the article proposes that some vitamins and minerals have dual roles for both survival and longevity while others are exclusive, exclusively needed for longevity. This means that some nutrients are essential for both our immediate survival and our long-term health, while others are specifically important for promoting a long and healthy life and health uh, aging. The article also suggests that some of the dietary components that are not essential for survival may actually be unrecognized longevity vitamins. Now this is a really groundbreaking idea that opens up a whole new area of research. It suggests that there, there may be some nutrients out there that we haven't yet recognized as essential, but that could play a crucial role in promoting longevity. So the concept of uh, longevity proteins and vitamins provides a new perspective on nutrition and health. It suggests that our diet can have a profound impact on our longevity and that by ensuring an adequate intake of all vitamins and minerals, we can support our longevity proteins and promote a long and healthy life. But how do we find these unrecognized longevity vitamins? The article suggests that we need to look beyond the traditional categories of vitamins and minerals. We need to explore how our dietary, dietary components and investigate their potential roles in promoting longevity. This could involve uh, studying the diets of people who live extraordinary long lives um, or conducting uh, laboratory experiments to, to test, test the effects of different dietary 
components on lifespan. It could also, it could also involve uh, developing new technologies and methods for studying nutrition and health. Now, the potential imp uh, implications of this research could be enormous. If we can identify these unrecognized longevity vitamins, we could potentially develop new dietary recommendations or supplements to promote healthy aging. This could also gain a better understanding of the biological processes that underlie aging, which could lead to new treatments for age-related diseases. So, in conclusion, this new perspective on proteins and vitamins shed light on the importance of a balanced diet and adequate intake of our vitamins and minerals. It's not just about surviving, but it's about thriving and living a long and healthy life. But what does this mean to us in practical terms? Well, it means that every meal is an opportunity to nourish our bodies and support our longevity. It means that by making smart choices about diet, we can positively influence our health and our lifespan. It also means that we need to pay attention to all the vitamins and minerals, not just the ones that are traditionally regarded as essential. Even those that are not uh, essential for our immediate survival could play a crucial role in promoting healthy longevity. Finally, I think it underscores the complexity and beauty of our bodies. Our bodies are uh, constantly making decisions and trade-offs to ensure our survival, but also to promote our longevity. By better understanding these processes, we can start to work with our bodies rather than against them to promote a long and healthy lifestyle. Thank you for watching this video. I found it really fascinating to research this and to think more about my own personal diet. And I find it really interesting that there's potentially uh, vitamins and minerals that are essential for our long-term health and, re and how do we really age well that we may not even have a name for, that we haven't really discovered. Um, to me, it highlights the need to uh, really have a varied but healthy diet. Thank you for watching and please uh, like, subscribe uh, to this channel. Um, also, I'd really love to hear from you. Please do uh, comment and share your thoughts, uh, anything you disagree with, anything you'd like to add, any uh, particular books or articles you've read that um, could be uh, added to this uh, fascinating study. Uh, and also feel free to uh, join our newsletter and also uh, download the free spreadsheet that has a list of supplements and health checks that we can do. Uh, who knows, maybe adding to that list of supplements uh, from this research. Thank you again for watching. My name is Paul Tilly and you've been watching The Flesh is Willing.